Time now for the second of our special reports on how the Midlands economy has fared over the last 12 months. The ITV Business Club are entrepreneurs we recruited 12 months ago as a barometer of business in the region. And tonight we hear about a company that has doubled its profits and we find out what the predictions are for this year. In a nutshell, virtually all of our business club members will be taking on more people. Here's our business correspondent, Mark Goff. At Birmingham Airport, 2012 was a big year. They started building the extension to the runway, which, according to Chief Executive Paul Kehoe, should increase passenger numbers, which have been rising steadily. Our passenger numbers are about 3 or 4% year on year, which is great news, although in August we had nearly a 10% increase in passenger numbers, which was the best August we've had in 10 years. It's been a great year for the airport in terms of the, uh, the traffic over the summer of 2012 with the Olympics. We didn't have any problems with the Olympics. Our passengers are still going on holiday. Great summer, really good autumn. Even though we lost uh, BMI Baby, which is very sad, we still continue to do uh, great trade. The December and January proving to be a lot more difficult. Tough times because of the uh, economy and aeroplanes being grounded by the key airlines. They just don't want to take the risk of flying at the moment. But we're positive about 20, the rest of 2013. Well, hopefully in a year's time, we'll actually be standing on tarmac at this point. The lines will have been painted, the lights will be in, uh, and the, the next phase of the, of the runway resurfacing will be occurring. And at that point, the project will be complete. So that's the next 12 months. Pennine Healthcare in Derby was turning over £27 million making equipment for hospitals. This year, it'll be nearer £30 million. Well, amazingly, since this time last year, uh, our turnover has grown by 18%. Profits have doubled and we've taken on about another 37 people. So I am over the moon. Markets that we've been looking at for some years, we've always sold a bit in the Middle East, but it seems maybe we've now reached a level where we're taken more seriously we're certainly winning tenders now um, in some of those markets we won a, a lovely big tender just a few weeks ago for Oman really for some quite large volumes of products for their Ministry of Health um, the same in Kuwait I mean even last week we even won a tender for catheters for, for Pakistan which was really competed by companies from all around the world. I would like to think we could perhaps get to 30 million turnover, um, which would be absolutely fantastic. So what are the prospects for this year? Will our business club members be taking on more people? Virtually all say they will. Definitely. I think we'll be taking on people for the factory. I think we'll be taking on some new salespeople. Uh, potentially we have a, a, a small new range of products that we want to be selling in the UK which may need more specialist sales. We're going to take on a new engineer, we, take, we need to take on some new quality people. Um, so yes, there will be jobs throughout that where we will be increasing the Pennine team. For next year I'm uh, predicting growth again. Um, we've got lots of new markets still that are coming on, uh, new customers from Spain as well looking very promising as well. I think the only way is up to be honest with you. Manufacturing in the, in the West Midlands is fantastic. Everybody I talk to that's subcontracting or making parts for me or other people are all busy. Uh, full order books which is absolutely excellent. We will be opening another site up um, in the Saltley area. We are seriously looking at another additional site past that in the Aston area. Um, and we are looking at whether we go to China or not to follow Jaguar Land Rover. We'll continue to follow the fortunes of our entrepreneurs throughout this year and how have they enjoyed their time as members of the ITV Business Club. I think what I was surprised about was to find that everybody in the business club was doing well and that we were able to share some stories about things, some problems that we've got in terms of recruitment. I think it was great to meet everybody initially and to meet other like-minded, um, passionate entrepreneurs in the Midlands and it's great to sort of tell a good news story about growing businesses um, despite the recession. Most of what you, you've achieved has been good news stories and makes people feel good about manufacturing, good about young people starting new businesses, good about innovation, good about ideas. And that's what we need in this country. We need that culture of entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm.